Hey guys, this is Kristen from Larson Digital. Today I'm going to show you how to burn a video file to a DVD so that you can play it on your television. Now many people assume that you can burn a video to a DVD using the same software used for photos and music. Unfortunately, you can't. It does require special software specifically for video files. The first thing that you need to do is you need to pick out a video editing software that you are comfortable and familiar with. I like to recommend Wondershare Filmora for people who are editing their videos at home. The reason is, is because this is not only an affordable software, but it's really easy to use, even if it's your first time. So the first thing that we're gonna to want to do is click on this full feature mode. So the first thing you wanna do is you want to import your video files. So if you go up here to import, you can add whatever files you want. So grab any video clips, if you wanna add music, anything like that, grab the files and then just hit open. You can add them one at a time or as you're working, it's up to you. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to select this with my mouse and I'm going to drag it down here into my timeline. Now, as you notice, your timeline has multiple layers. So this right here is where you're gonna put all your video files. Down here, you can put some pictures or still images. Right here, you can add text and this allows you to add music and sound effects. So all of these are just layers and will all appear on the screen at the same time. Um, so what I also want to do is I want to add a larger clip. So this is only nine seconds. So I'm gonna grab this clip right here and I'm gonna drag it down into my timeline. Now I've got these two clips. But since when you are editing the video, it's real time editing. And so I don't want to take 10 minutes to render this video file. So I'm going to scroll over here. I'm just going to add a couple minutes and I'm going to splice it right here. So to splice means to kind of cut it out or split the clip. So just get your icon right here wherever you want to split it at and go over to the little scissors and split the clip. So now I can either move these clips around if I wanted to um, but in this situation, I'm actually just going to hit the delete key and I'm going to erase it for now. So now I've only got about two minutes uh, so that it won't take so long to render. Um, and that's pretty much it. This is what you need to do. Get all of your videos into your timeline. And then the next thing you want to do is export it out onto a DVD. So we're going to go to export and burn DVD. So you've got a couple different options right here. If you wanted to create like a new MP4 video file, or you know whatever type of file you want to create, send it to YouTube. Um, you, you've got all these different options, but right here you're going to go to Burn DVD. And even on this software, all of those various options are all available right here. So this will allow you to create a new video file. This will create something smaller for a phone. Uh, down here is where you're going to create your DVD. By default, sometimes this box is not checked. So to save yourself some headache, do that. First thing, make sure your output type is burned to DVD. So you can change your DVD label. This is not going to be visible when you first put your DVD in and hit play. This would be visible if you put it in a computer and it's essentially the title. The next setting we're going to look at is our aspect ratio. I typically leave mine at 16 by 9 and that is for widescreen televisions, which is most standard TVs. The next thing is this TV standard NTSC. Just leave that as it is. You're going to want to look at your video quality. Depending on how much video that you've put on this DVD, whether it's two hours or three hours or one hour, it will automatically set your video quality. You want to ensure that it's set to high video quality. If it automatically is moved to medium or low, it's because you have too much video crammed onto this DVD and it's going to compress that to get it all on there. So I would recommend going back Editing out some, leave only about an hour, hour and a half on, and then put all the extra onto a second DVD, and that will ensure that you have the highest quality video. Now, once you've done all that, just hit the export button and it will just do its job. Now the software needs to take all of your video files, any changes that you've made, and it's going to create a file to make this DVD. This is a real-time rendering process, which means if you have a 60-minute video, it's going to take 60 minutes to render this file. Sometimes it can take even longer, so be prepared and be patient. Once it's done rendering the file, you'll hear your DVD burner kick off, 
and that means it's going to burn that DVD, and that will usually take about five to ten minutes. Again, it just depends on your computer and the speed of your DVD burner. And this is how you take a digital MP4 file, render it, and create a playable DVD that you can watch on your television. I hope that this has been helpful to you. Be sure to check out all of our other tutorials online. Thanks!